it's the WGS 84 or World Geodetic Survey 1984 and this is basically an azimuth or equidistant projection in a sphere of the heavens that's what it is and that's what many of the um, globe earthers are now choosing to use because it's the reference point that the ordinate survey map uses so they've got a flat map which is definitely not wrapped around the ball and they're taking that flat map from its reference on WGS 84 and that is an azimuth or equidistant projection inside a sphere so essentially they're using a flat map from a flat map to prove it's a globe and so far I've not heard any explanations for why we are using the WGS 84 with its flattening factor of almost 100% which brings the disc of the azimuth or equidistant projection to 33 kilometers that's the thickness of the world that Rumpus thinks he's on because that's what he's using in terms of his reference points he's using an azimuth or equidistant projection there we go there's a picture of it and I think I've got the maths as well let's just dig that out in a second Are there any fantasists out there that can come up with nonsense evidence to support the shape of the earth? Here we go. We... So, sorry to interrupt. Can I just show this to the audience? So, this is what you were talking about. I don't know if you can see my screen. Um, the flattening factor F for the WGS 1984. Yeah, so the flattening factor equals A, the equatorial radius, minus C, polar radius, derived okay that's this divided by a which is the same figure again a but this figure here very similar slightly smaller when it comes to the polar radius the derived figure but the end figure 1 over 300 you end up with a disc that is 33 miles in kilometer and it's an ae projection this is the world of the WGS 84. is what it looks like this is the stars this is the celestial sphere this oh. is not where we live this is not the bit that we live so on this is the bit we so live what? on 
So all that time that Tim's been telling us about the Celestial Sphere. It's kind of got his interpretation wrong then, right? Yeah. Basically, you guys, your geodetic survey that you all think is representative of a globe model isn't in any way, shape or form representative of the globe. Claim, uh, Paul claims that uh, it's the geoid that's referenced, and uh, he seems to be ignoring this, which I've just gone through, which is the flattening factor. So, yes, it starts off as a geoid and gets flattened to 33 kilometers in thickness, Paul. That's what the flattening factor does. Yeah, I remember when uh, Paul struggled with the word reduced in yes. the conversation. With well, in this the, uh, instance, it's not server. reduced, it's the word flattening. Yeah, I was going to say, la la last time it was reduced, and this time it's the word flattening, and Paul struggled, seems to struggle with those two words. I think Nathan explained it pretty well, to be honest. It flattens it, Paul. It reduces it back to a flat shape. And that's what you guys believe that is the sphere, void, datum, nonsense. So it seems like that's their defense. It's based on a geoid. Yes, it is based on a geoid that is flattened and has a flattening factor. I've just shown you the maths. 